Welcome to your weekly UAS news update. This is the week of November 9, 2020. Four topics this week. The first one is Sony that is supposedly entering the drone market. We have a public safety integrated drone platform between two actually uh, big uh, companies in the UAS world. We'll talk about a new model for drone deliveries. I thought this was actually really interesting. So I wanna, I wanna kinda hear what you guys are thinking about this. And then the last topic is what people think about drones. This is a survey that came out from Europe and I wanna hear more about you guys as well. So let's get going. The first thing this week is Sony that is uh, entering the drone market, supposedly. The reason I'm saying supposedly is because, well, not a whole lot of came out of this article, but I saw so many people sharing it that I thought I would talk about it. Um, they're entering the drone market without a drone. And uh, that's pretty common these days. Uh, if you look at a lot of big tech companies, they basically said that they're going to get invested into this specific technology and, uh, and they don't really have a product yet. Um, they released a video which is really only a propeller and a motor and just the propeller churning on their website and they have a section on their website called AirPeak which supposedly is going to be the name of the, their new platform or their new drone program, I'm not sure actually. Uh, back in February there was a patent that had surfaced from Sony that was showing what looked like to be a drone and you can see the picture right here, it's nothing all that uh, earth shattering if I can say. Uh, that was dated back in October of 2019. So it looks like they've been at this for a while. There's been rumors on a lot of forums for a long time that Sony was eventually going to get in this. Now, if you know anything about Sony, uh, they're involved in a lot of different high tech, including uh, sensors. And a lot of the sensors on drones today are actually Sony sensors. So it would make sense for them to actually become uh, a big name in the drone market. Now, my question is to you, what do you think this is gonna do? Do you think it is actually too late to enter the drone market at this stage and become competitive with DJI and become competitive with a lot of uh, up and coming companies that we've been talking about? So uh, I know other companies I've tried, think about GoPro, for example, we know how that actually ended. And uh, but Sony is a much bigger company with a lot more resources, uh, a, a big background in technology. So tell me what you think. Tell me what you'll uh, what we'll get probably or hopefully from Sony and uh, how they can actually compete and what can they bring to the to the whole solution. Uh, I think it's good. It's good to have more options. It's good to have competition, especially from large companies that can put a lot of uh, uh, money into R and D and um, just get us a better product in the end. This is what it's all about. It's all about the customer. Okay, the next thing I want to talk about is this uh, partnership between DroneSense. DroneSense is a, a software company that provides uh, software for public safety users and uh, Hotel, Hotel Robotics, Hotel released a bunch of drones recently. We talked about the Evo 2. Uh, there is three different models, the Evo 2 basic or normal, I don't know what you call it, but the Evo 2 Pro and then the Evo 2 Dual, which had uh, a camera, uh, RGB camera, and also a FLIR camera. Now they're putting together an out of the box solution for public safety agencies to build, manage, and scale drone programs. That's what they said on the website. And, um, and I think this is interesting. If uh, any of you are in the public safety uh, arena, you know that it's just more than just flying the drone, getting the drone out there and flying. You, you still have to manage your, your team, you have to manage your drone, your maintenance, your how you share data, uh, especially if you have uh, real-time data that needs to be shared with different uh, officers or, or different employees. So this is what it's designed to do. It's basically designed to be an all-in-one solution to help public safety department. So um, if you have any experience with this or if you're using a solution right now, please leave it in the comment. I'm always interested to hear what uh, public safety agencies do. We work with a lot of public safety agencies to provide training. And so it's always interesting to hear uh, what they use out of the box when they start flying the drones. The next thing is something that I thought was really interesting and kind of out of the box, uh, not the same out of the box we just talked about, which was thinking outside the box. It's a new model for drone deliveries. And uh, we have a Florida-based company that is named Zing. And Zing is trying to do something different with drone deliveries. They want people to use their DJI drones or off-the-shelf, commercial off-the-shelf kind of drone and use a Zing delivery kit and an app to basically accept drone delivery jobs. Think about it as drone base for drone delivery. 
And uh, Zing is uh, just joined the, the Beyond program. We talked about the Beyond program last week. So if you missed that, go back to watch that video from last week. Uh, the Beyond program is IPP version 2.0. And, uh, and they're gonna be testing their platform in Kansas. So, um, at the moment, obviously, if you're familiar with the regulation, uh, if you're part of our Part 107 uh, course, we talked about we talk about drone deliveries and we talk about the legality of it and what you can and can do as a Part 107 pilot. So in this case, they would want people with a Part 107 certificate to basically accept deliveries. I'm not sure where you get the content, where you drop it off, and how that actually works, but uh, there are limitations at the moment with a visual line of sight, and this is the end of 2020. I need to say this, if you watch this video in 2021, things might be completely different because uh, the FAA is expected to release new regulation for flying over people and flying beyond visual line of sight. So uh, the, uh, the limitations at the moment in 2020 is you can fly beyond visual line of sight to deliver packages, and uh, you can't fly over people still unless you have a waiver to do so. Uh, so th th there's still a lot of limitations in this case. And uh, so it'll be interesting to see what comes out of uh, the, the Beyond program. This may be uh, the, the opportunity for you to make more money. Now you know how drone aggregators work and you know that they don't really pay a whole lot of money. So I'm expecting this is gonna be even less than that because, uh, because it's gonna be a quick mission to go deliver somebody's tacos or somebody's burger or chips or whatever it is and uh and i don't foresee this to be a very high paying job but you know this is uh, just a different market so the last thing i want to talk about is a survey or a report that came from a european company called respond drone and uh, they kind of surveyed a group of people to find out what they were thinking when you said the word drone. And uh, it turns out that most people are really unaware of the fact that drones can be used for uh, with first responders. And it, it basically people said they drones are used for amateur photography, amateur videography, uh, children, toys, or military operation. That's the, the big ticket items that people think when they think about drones. So uh, my question to you, I wanted to kind of open this up to you guys and, and what do people say when you, wh or what do they think about when you say that you fly drones? Um, I actually just went to the dentist this morning and, and I was telling my dentist, he was asking me what I was gonna do afterwards. And, uh, and I told him I was gonna test uh, a large drone. Uh, we flew a Matrice 600 with, um, with a camera on it. And he, um, he basically had no idea really what uh, I was talking about. I didn't tell him it was a Matrice 600. And it, I just told him we were flying a large drone. And he said, well, do you do this from inside? Do you still have to look at the drone outside? Uh, do you see just use a camera and then just fly it? You know, people think what they see from drones from the military where you have somebody sitting in the seat, they have a camera, they fly the drone, they do whatever they do and then they come back. They never really look at the drone. So can I explain to him the whole process of, yeah, you have to keep visual line of sight and then the whole time that you fly, you see it, you see the camera and all that stuff. So I thought that was really interesting because I'm usually around people that know what I do and, and that understand what drones do. But uh, when you come across people that have really no idea what the drone world is all about, it's always kind of an interesting thing. So I always enjoy obviously educating people. This is what I do for a living. And, uh, but I wonder what do you guys uh, get? What kind of response do you get when people say you fly a drone? Uh, we just flew the Inspire a couple weeks ago. We had a, a videographer that did some videos for us and, and I was flying the drone. And when we left, I had the Inspire 2 in my hand. And then this older lady, she looks at us and she said, oh, is that a drone? And she was all excited about it. She said, wow, this is really cool. Um, I had a person come to us when we were filming and um, kind of came and said, hey, I just bought a drone and uh, what are you guys flying? What is this thing and how does it work? So we get a lot of interest. I get a lot of interest all the time. Very, very rarely I get bad experiences with people. As a matter of fact, I can only think about maybe one or tw twice that I've flown where people came and they were a little bit reluctant. And by the the end of the discussion, they were all excited and they said, okay, well, it's not as bad as I thought it was. So um, 
Tell me, tell me what you think in the comments. This is actually the last piece I want to talk about today. So um, as always, like, comment, subscribe, do all the stuff that you do. Leave a comment. I really enjoy talking to you guys. I know I say this every week, but I really mean it. And, uh, and this is kind of, uh, I know some of you say this is your highlight every Friday morning. You love going online and watching the news. Uh, my highlight is seeing the comments afterwards and talking with you guys and kind of exploring a lot of the things that we discuss in these videos. So this is what this is all about, by the way. This is why I love doing these videos. So that's it. That's all I have. I will see you guys uh, next week. Actually, we have some uh, content. Actually, I have my, my flight bag right here. I just came back from uh, doing some uh, Mavic Air 2, uh, Mavic Mini 2, and Mavic Mini Original uh, videos. We were testing some batteries. We're testing footage. So uh, we have more videos coming out for you guys very soon using all three of these drones. And um, that's it. I will see you guys next week and have a great weekend.